Hey, hey, welcome back to another week. Um, this week for you guys is fairly big because you have um, a test and then you have a benchmark test, which is four pages long. Um, I don't know if you remember from other days where it's like all multiple choice and you pick A, B, C, or D for the correct answer. Um, and it's review over everything you learned so far. So um, yeah. Big week coming up. All right. <clears throat> Jokes for this week. They're lame. I was looking for lame jokes this week, so here we go. Okay, let me. Go to the next one, there we go. I do give them my seal of approval. And lastly here, all right. Amusing for me, maybe not for you. All right, <clears throat> today, lesson 89, and I think you could almost look at this lesson and figure it out by yourself um, based off of inf all the information that we've covered lately. Um, but I'm going to show you some things here and hopefully maybe show you some shortcuts to getting there. So um, today we're going to learn about graphing and which we already learned about that but using graphing to find two unknowns um, and we already talked about that when um, pretty much graphing one equation and then graphing another equation crossing that line and right where they intersect it gives you the x-axis which is horizontal and the y-axis which is vertical and it then gives you two numbers there so um, i'll be using the graph to illustrate that today, it's going to be fairly quick, um, but we'll see what we can do there. <clears throat> so, um, if you're on page 594, um, Theo here is thinking of two numbers and he gives these two hints. So there's two numbers out there that we need to figure out. And the two hints that he gives are, um, he's thinking of two random numbers, not just one number, but it's two random numbers. The first one is if you, the sum of both of them, if you have both of them together, it gives six. That's what they equal. So you add these two together. Um, they could, one could be negative. They could both be positive. We don't know. And then the second thing is that one number is 10 more than the other number. So if one number is Y, that means Y is 10 more than X, which is Y equals X plus 10. And you guys already know how to graph these. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to my um, graph here on the board and show you, we can graph them. And then I can also show you something um, probably next year, maybe not next year, this is probably gonna be uh, algebra one, algebra two. You can use graphing calculators to figure this out where you just punch things in and voila, it shows you where the lines cross and it's that fast. Um, very much a time-saving thing. So I'm going to jump over here to um, the coordinate plane and show you guys how to do this. Okay, so here we go with the coordinate plane. Um, and over here are my two equations that I pulled over. And the, the thing is here, to, before, I think you had, a couple lessons ago, we had talked about um, putting zero in for x and then making that chart. Um, I think what your book actually shows you right now is that um, you make a couple points. So you put one in for X. Um, I, just stick with the X and Y intercepts. It's going to be faster, um, and you're not looking to make a bunch of time, uh, consume a bunch of time with these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make X, Y charts here. And if I'll just do the same thing that we have done the other time. If X is zero, that means if you put zero for x plus y, 
or plus y equals six. So there you go. And if y is zero, then x is six. And if you actually stick those in, you'll be able to tell that. So for the first line, um, I'll just show you it's x is zero, y is six. Right here you have y, so your first dot is right there. Uh, and then for the second equation, you have your x, y chart here. And do the same thing if you do um, your x and y being zero. So zero is x here. Y equals zero plus 10. That means it's y equals 10. If y is zero, now this is where it can be a little difficult because if y, if zero is equal to x plus 10, what is x actually equal? Well, that means if, so I'll just quick do this here. So zero equals x plus 10. That doesn't tell us what x equals reason being is because you want x by itself. Um, that's just how it works. So um, what happens here is I just subtract 10 from both sides, and there you have it. Negative 10 is equal to x. Because you want to know what x is equal to. You don't want to know what x plus 10 is. You want to know what x is equal to. So that's the reason they would probably suggest um, to you to make your x, y charts. Um, but I think you guys can figure it out this way as well. So what I'll just show you, if, if this way doesn't make sense, if using the x, y intercepts doesn't make sense, I'll show you another way that you can do this um, for both charts actually. So over here, so this one's fairly simple, but I'll make an x, y chart. And that way you can just have two ways of doing this if you need to. So if I stick in one for x, right? One plus y equals six. So if I put one in for there, so it's one plus y equals six. That doesn't tell me what y equals, so I subtract one from both sides, and then y is equal to uh, five there. So it's one five. Um, you can do that. Just figure it out. If I put the reason it's it's nice to use. I mean, the reason it's fast to use zero is because you just need two points, and then you can draw a straight line through there. Um, so for this equation, it doesn't make sense to use this one, but for this one, it might actually, and I'll show you why here. So if I make an xy chart to get my points to graph, here it's really simple actually. So if I want to put, I just use, uh, I'm just going to pick a, random, a bunch of random numbers. So I'm going to go with negative two, zero, and two. So if I stick negative two in for x, negative two plus 10 equals y. Negative two plus 10, so that means y is eight. Um, if I put zero in for x, zero plus 10 is equal to 10. If I put two, two plus 10 equals y. Two plus 10 is 12, there you go. So that's the reason, um, yeah, I think you can see that. But that's the reason why an xy chart. So you can use either one. You can use the xy intercepts, which is just two points, or you can use this and you're gonna get the same line. So pick the way that's easier for you. So I'm gonna erase these charts here and then actually graph these. So the first line, you have zero, six, which we did that one. And then we have six for X and Y for zero. So that puts the point right there. Um, I'll save the line for now. I'll draw it later. And then the second hint he gave gives us zero, 10 which is up top here, and negative 10, zero. So negative 10 is the whole way out here on the x-axis. So there you go. So just looking at this, here are these two points. There's going to be a line about here, and there's going to be a line intersecting about here. And you can almost fairly quickly see that. So connecting these lines, see how accurate I can get this. All right, there's your first line, and then the second line is 
right there. And so you look at this where these two lines intersect and that point is right on eight for y so y is equal to eight and the x is on negative two so there you have it very quickly you can find that out um, for that <clears throat> so that's the way you do that for that um, you just graph those put those two points on and um, go from there all right, back to the book and showing you some more problems. Okay, so that was um, the only example for this lesson and I, we just walked through it. It's pretty basic. Um, it starts basic, this whole concept, and then you can take it a lot further, make it difficult or less difficult, however you wanna do that. So what I'm actually gonna do here, you might consider cheating. Um, I, it's called using tools that you have in order to help you out. I'm actually gonna show you, um, I don't know if your parents will let you if you want to do that. Um, otherwise, just use the um, coordinate plane at the back of your book. Um, this is be a little faster than spending five minutes on one problem graphing. So what you can do, I actually downloaded an app before we started here. Um, it's called GeoGebra. It's like G-E-O. It's instead of algebra, it's GeoGebra graphing calculator um, and it actually makes it super easy so jump to um, practice set a and i'm gonna um, share this screen here <clears throat> and we'll see if we can get this to work here so for practice set a um, we have give me a second here Okay, so for practice set A here, um, we have, <clears throat> this is the um, app that I have pulled up on your screen that you can see. Um, do you have another problem, just like we had a little bit ago? Um, they use crazy names like Xena and Yolanda because of the X and Y at the beginning of the name to help you differentiate there. So they both have $12. So right there you know that x plus y they give you have twelve dollars so if you would write that down um, which i'll just do that here um, and you can see there that so i'll just type this in here x uh, plus y equals 12 because that is the amount that they have now you can see here that that immediately graph the line for me. Um, so that's a way that you can fairly quickly figure that out. And if you do that, if you go ahead and figure that out, um, that X plus Y equals 12 and use the um, uh, zero intercept, I'm forgetting the name right now, but where it crosses um, the X and the Y axis, you can see that it crosses at zero 12 on the X axis and then actually that would be 12 zero that point right there and then the other point is zero 12 so the x and y intercept are 12 zero and zero 12. so that's the first line now here's where things get super nice because then the second hint is that y yolanda has six more than xena so that means if uh x whatever the amount that Yolanda has, it's six more than um, Xena has. So Y is equal to X plus six because it's six more. So I'll type that in. They give you that equation. You don't have to figure it out for yourself. Y is equal to X plus six. And should automatically figure that out. So um, if you look in the top, the top left of the screen there, the first equation is x plus y equals 12. Second equation is y is equal to x plus 6. And it gives you two lines, and you can see where they intersect. Here, you zoom in. And if you take it from the bottom, which is the x, and the side, which is the y-axis, 
the bottom, so x is 3 and y is 9. Um, I'll just write those numbers up on the board. I don't know if you can see it with things as well. x is equal to 3, y is equal to 9. So I'm going to stop my screen share here. And now you have to answer the all important question of is that actually true? Because we can throw numbers up there and throw graphs up there, and we don't actually know what. Do you even know what you figured out? Um, so x has $3 and y has $9. Is it actually true based off the information they gave you? Well, they told you that the two of them added together is equal to 12. And they also told you that y has six more than there. So if x is 3 and y equals 9, you need to fit both of these in this these two numbers into these equations and it needs to work in order for that to be a true statement. So 3 plus 9 equals 12. Checks out. Uh, and then here, y9 equals 3 plus 6. That checks out as well. So you do have a correct um, solution there. Um, if you ever doubt yourself after you graph it, because like, wait, um, Yolanda has 15 and uh, Xena has 9. That doesn't make sense. You can jump back in and figure it out that way. So um, going to problem B, and I'm going to keep using uh, the app here just for sake of speed pretty much. And okay, so let me clear these two. And we'll find out. So for B, Nikki is thinking of two numbers. Their sum is 12. So again, the two numbers that we don't know, we'll use X and Y. So X plus Y, again, equals 12. So I wouldn't even had to erase that number um, or that equation because there you go. And right away, it shows you where um, these points that are crossing. The Y intercept is 0, 12 and the x root is what they call it, it's 12, 0. So there's your first line. Um, it's kind of handy how it shows you those points right away. Then the second point, it says that the greater number is double the lesser number. So again, we'll go y equals, now if you heard that problem, the greater number, which is y in this case, is double the lesser number. So what do you need to do to the lesser number in order to get to the greater number? You need to double it times 2. So y is equal to 2x, 2 times x. Um, and just to prove you that, I'll put this. But 2x and 2 times x is the same thing here um, for that. So here you go, where it crosses. The y-intercept is 0, 0, because if you put y in for 0 in for y, x needs to be 0. So that was, there you go with that one. And then it doesn't even, actually, regardless of, you can put 0 in for x, and it gives you 0 you, for y, and you can put 0 in for y. Either way, it gets you a problem there. Um, what you have to do there is, actually put in other numbers in zero because here is the deal there is no other point that it crosses the x and y like i can zoom out as far as i can go and it just keeps going farther and farther away from zero it doesn't get close there so here you would if you would make an x y chart you would actually need to put in say one for x in order to get an answer that we could start graphing um, the points there are one two two, four, three, six, um, you would actually have to do that. So that's where you're gonna have to use a couple of different ways of figuring that out. Anyhow, back to the answer here. The answer for that one is four for X and eight for Y. So I'm gonna slap these answers up. Uh, it's four X, four, Y, eight. X equals four, Y equals and I'll have to figure these problems out. So <clears throat> the second one was y equals 2x. So these 
should fit in both of these equations. X plus Y, four plus eight equals 12. Is that true? Yes, it is. Y, eight is equal to two times four. Is that true? Yes, it is. So both of these equations check out. All right, C, I'm just gonna keep going through here. Um, same thing. C, you have use inspection to predict the solutions to the system equations and graph the equations to verify your prediction. Um, so pretty much use inspection, look at it and think about it to figure out if what these things are gonna be and then throw it in your um, graph to actually find out. So if you think about this, y and x are equal. The second um, hint there is y is equal to x. That means both x and y are gonna be the same. They have to be. So jump up to the top problem. If you add these two numbers together, they equal six and they're the same. So what two numbers added together, or what one number times, or add that same number is equal to six? We'd say three plus three equals six. Well, let's go ahead, throw this in the um, graphing calculator and find out what goes on here. So x plus y equals six. There's your first line. Um, your intercepts are zero, six, and six, zero. And then y is equal to x, boom. So did this cross at three, three? Sure enough, x is three, y is three. So there's, there's times when you don't actually need to even graph um, to figure out the correct solution. And then the last one, it says describe two numbers represented represented by the system equations and graph to find the two numbers. So you're supposed to describe two numbers represented um, and then graph them to find the two numbers. Let me see here. Um, let me throw these in here y is equal to x minus 6. There's your first line. There you go. And then the second one is x plus y equals 0. So these two numbers have to cancel out. It's going to be a positive and a negative most likely here. So x plus y is equal to zero. So there you go, there are those two lines. Three and negative three are your two equation, or your two numbers. Let me just throw those up here. Three and negative three. Um, let me see if that's correct. Yeah, the y is negative three. And two equations were at y equals x minus six. And x plus y equals zero. So here you go. Y negative three is equal to three minus six. Is that correct? Yep, checks out. And then three plus negative three, or three minus three, because in this fight, the negative wins, so three minus three equals zero. That checks out as well. All right, so there you go. Um, hopefully that makes sense as far as how you can use different ways um, using your x, y chart or x and y intercepts to go ahead and figure out your answer. Okay, let me know um, if you have any questions and good luck on that.